Hey, what's up guys? I hope everyone's having a great evening. I want to start this video with a question and my question is to OLED owners. Those of you that own any of the LG line, past and present, the Sony A1E line and the Panasonic OLED line, my question for you guys is image retention and burn-in and is it still an issue? What I'm looking for is your experience on using the display day to day and if you find image retention and burn-in to still be an issue um, and if it is what's the degree how do you notice it when do you notice it is it a deal breaker um, as you guys know I recommend this a place to you guys in the comments if you look in any of the comments of any of the chan or any of the videos on the channel you'll see ongoing discussions about displays more times than not, OLED comes up, and a lot of times I recommend OLED more than any other as far as the best picture possible. Um, that is just my opinion. I would have an OLED display, except they don't get big enough for me. I have a 75-inch display here in front of you, which is a Sony 900E. They do have 77-inch OLEDs, but their pricing's a little crazy. But I love the display. I love the technology behind OLED. I'm a former plasma owner. And burn-in was an issue for plasma. Now, I found I was able to avoid the pitfalls of burn-in by just being a little bit careful in regards to static images on screen for long periods of time, switching up content. It was something that I would see, but it faded over time. I didn't find it to be a deal breaker. But for you guys, I feel in order for me to really recommend them, it is my responsibility to make sure that they're not still having an issue. Um, I know all over YouTube and everything else you're seeing burn-in videos and but other people are telling me it's not a problem. So I'm really kind of reaching out to the community and to YouTube to find out, is it still a problem? Are you having an issue with it? Um, one of my favorite websites, which is Digital Foundry, is a gaming graphics analysis website. And they break down graphics and frame rates and it's something you guys should definitely check out. But the two leaders of that, especially one of the leaders, guy that owns it, and another one that works there, both have OLEDs as their primary displays. Now these guys basically pour over video games for hours and hours and hours. A lot of times that's pixel counting, slow movement. So I highly doubt that burn-in is such a concern why these guys would have them as their home displays. They're not even saying buy them, they're just saying they have them. Also, you're looking at any other websites, do recommend OLEDs as the number one gaming display. So, I just find it hard to believe that if it's such a rampant problem, why a lot of these different websites are recommending OLEDs. I'm not going into conspiracy theories, I don't care about that stuff, guys. I'm not interested in hearing... My display is better than OLED. That's not the question I'm asking, guys. What I'm looking for is OLED owners to help me and to just answer that question for me and tell me how it's going for them. You know, was it a problem in the past and it's gotten better? And I'm just curious because I recommend these displays every day and I want to make sure that I'm doing my due diligence other than just reading. I don't have one. You guys know I recommended one for my parents. I saw it in Arizona, I did a couple of videos on it, I was blown away by it. There was no problem with vertical banding or image retention on their display. But they're very casual users, they don't watch TV constantly, they don't play static images, they don't play video games. So I'm really reaching out to the OLED community guys, if you guys could help me. And in the comments, start a discussion with other owners that are looking to purchase these displays. I'm confident in recommending them because I think they're amazing and I think that you can avoid image retention. But I'm just looking to double check because every time I mention OLED, someone jumps in with burning. And I just want to make sure that I'm doing my due diligence and that I can, I'm asking for help from the community and YouTube at large. So hopefully we can keep everything kind in the comments, guys. It always works out well. So I'm just looking for that question, OLED owners. Please help me out and that way I can recommend them 100%. Thank you as always everyone. Thank you for all the great comments and conversations. And I'm looking forward to seeing where this brings us in regards to OLED and how great a display it is and if it's worth recommending for all types of content. Primarily gaming is the one I'm most interested in. Alright guys, thank you as always. Have a great night.